Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn and I'm going to be teaching you how to um, start with your decorations for your altar. Okay, in your box you should have found some candles, some right here, and tissue paper with some pipe cleaners. We'll need that for making our marigolds. And some instruction, so some sheets of instruction a sheet you can fill out and talk about with your family, um, just some questions about the members, family members you want to remember, and this coloring sheet of skulls. So you have some you can draw in and create your own style of skull. That's pretty cool. I actually made some, painted those, and um, I made this little like folding paper thing in the back so it could stand and it'll be a great addition to my altar. So I'll put these aside. I'm gonna show you how we can um, do our paper flowers. So our marigolds, um, they represent, you know, it's la flor de los muertos, so the flower of the dead. So when we see it in the Day of the Dead, we have a lot of these. Um, people get real ones or they make some. Um, we are gonna make some with our tissue paper. So we did get this big old sheet. <laughs> Let's see, huge tissue paper. Um, but what we're gonna want is probably a size like this. So what I'm gonna do is cut it, you know, this way, and then cut it that way um, so that we can get about the size we want, right? Let me see, where are my scissors? Okay. So I'm gonna cut down this way. Just follow the line. Cool. We're gonna stack those on top of each other and then we're gonna go the other way. I'm going to put this one aside. Um, you can save it for later if you want to do um, some um, papel picado, like hanging. I made these really cool school ones, but we do have another video um, where we show you more in depth about papel picado and the history about it. So feel free to watch that later as well. Um, but we have this half and I'm going to do one more cut and it'll be about this size. Um, this size will get you something like this. So um, anything smaller will get you a little smaller one. So you can do that as well. Um, I like this medium size. I'm just gonna cut that. And now they're stacked, perfect. Um, next up, we're going to fold this accordion style. You'll just do this. You notice right here, um, I have orange, yellow, orange, yellow. So it's a pattern, it'll look really nice um, on our flower once we open it up. So we'll keep folding accordion style. And you're going to start looking for your pipe cleaner. Um, note, you did get three pipe cleaners. Um, you can make multiple flowers if you'd like. So maybe this layer that I have here might be you know, a very, very fluffy flower. So you could use probably about five sheets. I can tell already it's going to really be a fluffy flower. But I grab my pipe cleaner. I'm going to grab, make sure it's centered, twist, nice and tight. And we can cut this off and use it, right? Again, for more flowers. Um, but next up, I'm going to shape the flower. I'm gonna do a little curved, so it can look like a marigold. Cool. And again, you can cut this off, but I'll leave it for now because it helps me um, hold it right. And you'll open this up. And the hardest part, patience. We need to pull each layer um, slowly, careful not to rip that, so that we can have our marigold. I'll show you right here, I did one side. That's looking so nice, right? Um, let me open this up and we'll... I did here about five layers of tissue paper. Um, you might wanna try to stick to that. It's just much more easier, I think. So I'm pulling those apart. Okay, last two. 
You kind of see the flower forming and it's really looking nice. Okay, there we have it. Oh, I think I'm missing a layer. Yep. It looks really nice. Opening it up. Okay. I'm gonna cut this off. Save that for another flower I might do later. And we have our marigolds. They're also known as Sempan Tsuchiles. <laughs> um, and, you know, like I said, we use them for the Day of the Dead, and they're really great additions to your altar, your ofrenda. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what we have on our altar. Um, so for the Day of the Dead, your altar needs to have four elements, which consists of fire, which these candles will be very helpful. You'll just turn them on. And I have another one here, another candle. You can get creative. Um, make sure to check with an adult. Um, ideally, we wanna have some not real ones without any supervision. Keep those, these are great, they'll do the job. As well, we want water. That's another element that we'll have. So we have here a jar of water that'll be great for our altar to represent that. Um, the papel picado is, it does represent wind, right? So we have this paper or we can create um, one hanging. These marigolds, they, they, you know, they are great for the flowers and then also representing the wind. So it's great to just do these. And then we have earth, which is food. And so we have some tamales here. I do have a picture of, it's very popular, the Day of the Dead bread. You can see it's kind of shaped like skulls in a way. And so this is um, used to represent the Day of the Dead. Uh, we eat it together. It's very tasty and very delicious. So it's also another option to have on our altar decorations. You'd put food of, um, you know, the, your member, your family member, their favorite food that they used to love. So you'll add some of that on there. Um, let me put this here. We also have salt. So the salt is used to represent, to um, purify the soul of the dead. And so we have some here to also add to our altar. And so we talked about, you know, don't forget the most important part you know, your family member. You want to add things they like to eat, maybe their favorite um, TV show, a, a picture of that, just their favorite things. This is focused on them, celebrating them. And we also use, you know, food and activities, family activities. We talk about our favorite memories with our family members. And you need a photo, which will be, oh, I have here Selena. Um, and we'll be doing that next with our staff where we'll be adding, you know, um, to our altar stuff that we want to represent, maybe loved ones, dear ones, and we'll be watching that next. Hi everyone, my name is Brian Rivera and I wanted to add who would represent, um, this is my dog Chiquita. Um, she's no longer with us, but at least by putting her here, I'll always be able to Continue to remember. Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia Bautista and I am adding a photo of my grandparents to the altar. This is my Mama Cuca and my Abuelita Emilio and I am going to add them right here. Hi everyone, my name is Ana Garcia Villalpando and I'm adding this little statue of El Chavo, Roberto Gomez Bolaños, because he had a great part in every Mexican household. Hey everybody, I'm Sheridan. Um, I'm adding this skull that I bought in Tijuana with my tia a few years ago. Um, we don't really celebrate Dia de los Muertos in my family, so we just started. And this is kind of one of the first things that we bought, so I just want to add it to you here. Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn and I'll be adding Selena Quintanilla, um, the queen of Tejano music, to our altar. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us. I just wanted to say one last thing. Uh, since Dia de los Muertos first began to be celebrated over 3,000 years ago, 
when we practice these traditions and we keep them alive and we maintain them, uh, we connect ourselves across space, across time, um, to those very first roots of our culture. Um, and so with that, goodbye, cuídense, and we'll see you next time.